In this personal video I will show you how to assemble a direct starter of a three-phase motor. Using two buttons to turn the motor on and off and a thermal relay to protect the motor. Starting by connecting the power circuit, connecting the three phases to the three-pole MCB miniature circuit breaker and the grounding conductor, we connect directly to the motor, then we leave with the three phases and connect to terminals 1, 3, and 5 of the contactor and terminals 2, 4, and 6 we connect to the thermal relay. Terminals 2, 4, and 6 of the thermal relay are connected to the motor. Now let's make the command circuit. For each circuit it is necessary to have a miniature MCB circuit breaker, for the power circuit we put a 3-pole MCB miniature circuit breaker and for the control circuit we put a 1-pole MCB. We start the command circuit by connecting the neutral conductor directly to A2 of the contactor. We leave with the phase conductor of the 1-pole MCB and connect terminal 95 of the thermal relay which is a normally closed contact. We are connecting first to the normally closed contact 95 and 96 of the thermal relay because we are making a series connection with the contactor coil and in the event of an overload in the motor, the relay will open contact 95 and 96 and will interrupt the power supply to the contactor coil. And the contactor will shut off the motor. Then we go out with a conductor on terminal 96 of the thermal relay and connect it on terminal 1 of the normally closed red button. In the output of the red button, in the terminal 2 we connect in the terminal 3 of the green button and we leave in the terminal 4 of the green button and we count in the A1 of the contactor. Now we are going to make the contact by holding it, that is, we are going to connect auxiliary contact 13 and 14 of the contactor in parallel with the green button. Terminal 3 of the green button connected with terminal 13 of the contactor and terminal 4 of the button with terminal 14 of the contactor. The motor will be turned on when the green button that is in conjunction with the contact holding is pressed. The motor will only turn off in two situations, if you press the red button because then it will interrupt the power supply to the contact coil or when there is an overload in the motor, because then the thermal relay will open the normally closed contact 95 and 96 and will interrupt the contactor coil supply. Comment below in the personal video, what is your biggest difficulty to learn electrical commands, sometimes it can be the command diagram or the connection of the contactor with the other components. Let's continue with this sequence of electrical commands. Check your channel subscription so you don't miss the next videos and leave your like to help our channel, thank you very much for watching and until the next video.